Hey YouTube, today I'm going to talk to you about Mixmeister Express. Um, pretty much this is a DJ mixing software. Now this is the um, Express version, so pretty much it's not, um, it has minimum features, but as far as I'm concerned it's what I needed. It's uh, 50 bucks off Mixmeister.com. You could probably get it cheaper on eBay. I don't know, I haven't looked, but so anyways. They have a whole bunch of different versions. This is the lowest version, Express. Um, they've got Mixmeister Fusion and Mixmeister Studio, a whole bunch of other stuff. Um, this is for, I guess, if you're basic DJ, you just you know put some songs together. Um, if you want Fusion, um, Fusion will do all that mixing stuff to you know match a whole bunch of music mixing. Um, this is the basic software. Um, it comes in a little DVD case like this, and then. You open it up, you got your registration key, and then your CD. Alright, so pretty much in this video I'm going to give you basics on Mixmeister Express. I'm not going to go deep into you know, everything. I'm going to show you pretty much what it does. And as far as I'm concerned, all I really need a software to do is to, you know, I re it's convenient if it shows you the BPM, um, which nowadays pretty much every uh, mixing software you can find has BPM and I also need crossfading and beat matching so pretty much we're gonna go ahead and show you this over here <laughs> let's see so technically this is your interface I guess you can call it or whatever you want to call it I'm not you know so pretty much over here you've got your songs the song list of all the songs is some of them, you know, over here, you've got the title of the song, the artist, your BPM, um, the album, and how long it is. And pretty much, there's two, you know, there's a, let's zoom in over here. So, as you see here, and pretty much what we can do is, um, you can set this interface up or to where you have um, a uh, external card, or a, an external sound card, let's I don't know where mine is right now. And then you have your internal sound card, or your internal one, where you just, you know, hook in that. You can have it set up <coughs> where you will, you can have where you, if you double click it like this, let's turn it on, um, it'll play through your headphones, and yet if you have it over here like this, um, zoom out, not very good at these, but I'm trying, so. Pretty much what I just did was drag this over there, like that, and dropped it. And then I'll get back into that interface over there in a minute. And then pretty much you can ha you can have it set up where it'll, you know, do that for you. Okay, moving on. Over here, this section over here is where your live performance is on. So let's go ahead and get over here. And as you see, I, always, I already put one song in here, and then... So we can go ahead and play this, and it's playing down here, too, but we're mainly paying attention up here. So you play it, then you have your player down here, um, and after you put in a second song, say we want to put in um, this song, we can put it in. And then up here, you'll get these features. Um, so you have right here, it says in the orange box, crossfade. You have different uh, options. And if you buy Fusion, it'll have, you know, different things you can do. Um, as far as I'm concerned, you know, you have your short beat mix, long beat mix, and your crossfade or no transition. So I normally click the short beat mix, and now it's going to beat mix it. And over here, you can see the BPM, which they're one beat off so it's not gonna you're not gonna hear a drastic change so let's go down here and see what it sounds like
And that's pretty much what it'll do. It'll beat mix it for you. Now, you're probably wondering also what this second box over here is for. And if you can read it, it'll say add sound effect. And I, I've done this before. I've used um, whoosh, actually. And pretty much it adds a whoosh sound effect when it's, you know, and you can, let's go down here. It'll add this sound effect in here. And then you can move it around. So say we want it to go like this. It adds a whoosh in. Now, what I suggest when you're using a sound effect is what I, when I use a sound effect, um, I mainly use the sound effect for um, when I'm mixing two songs together that have way far BPM off, and um, uh, the or the the BPM are far off. Like one one is 130, another is 95. You don't want to beat mix those together because it's gonna change the tempo at the last minute. And it's going to get really, you can hear the change, it's not good. You add that in and you had a simple crossfade, it's going to, it'll sound cool. Um, but pretty much that's a basic overview of the P, or, uh, Mixmeister Express 8, 6, 6, mix, mix, Mixmeister Express 6. Now what you can also do up in this corner up here is it says export and burn. Export and burn. So pretty much, let's get this set here so I can see what I'm doing. Um, export and burn, and pretty much what these will do, you can export your mix. So say you make um, a big long list, or a big mix of what, like 30 or 40 songs, or maybe not that many, like 10 songs that you like, you play during a wedding and whatnot, and it's, it's really good because it all goes together good. You can export it, and it'll make a sound file, one long sound file. You can put it on your iPod, and then you can put it on whatever else you want. And then also the other feature is burn, where you can burn it onto a CD. So these are some of the basic interviews or er, features of Mixmeister Express 8, 6, excuse me. So if you have any questions on it, feel free to ask me and I'll be happy to make help you with it.